Hey everybody, what's happening? I'm all good, just getting checked up in the hospital. Um, CT scans all clear. Um, congrats to Lee Wood, congrats to his team. After the best shot of the night and got me out here at the end, but it is what it is. I'll be back. Take care. What's good, family? Shout out to my doggy Derek Bickham for sponsoring your man the YB's dire coin situation, no doubt. So we just heard there from your man's Mickey Conlon reacting to being put to wood by Lee. Put to wood, yeah, 100%. Lee, put you to wood, no doubt. Now, not only did he make the comments in the video, he also went on Twitter and was desperate for the get back. He said, it's all good, I'm all good folks, cheers for the messages, I'll be back. Good shot and congrats to Lee, put me to Wood and his team. Definitely want a rematch, lol. I watched the fight, I definitely need to run it back. Up on the cards and the 11th was a slip. Fatigue was kicking him and I was caught on a temple with a good shot I didn't see. Respect to Lee, put me to Wood. Congrats again, you're a tough motherfucker. But let's run it back at Eddie Hearn, hashtag City Ground. I mean, listen, bearing in mind, my man Mickey Conlon, my man Mickey Wood Conlon, yeah, had just had his wig all mushed up. Oh, and there, there, like, his, his wig wasn't mushed up, his wig was stiffened, yeah, his wig was Cialis, his wig was Viagra. Now, it's interesting, some Don in the comments mentioned that our man's Kid Chinahad, yeah, Kid Chinahad. Kid Chinahad Galahad from the Dominic Ingle, Dominic Jew School gym. He, after his recent fight, had a well, managed to win a big brand deal with Cialis. Yes, yeah, Cialis were all, all over it, all over the sponsorship after seeing what happened to Kid Chinahad. But now I'm hearing now, obviously after we've all watched what happened with Mickey Conlon, I'm hearing Cialis, the promotional team at Cialis, and 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 even I'm hearing they've got. Competing bids right now. Viagra and Cialis are in a vicious bidding war for Mickey Conlon, yeah, to secure the footage because they want to be able to say, listen, Mickey Conlon, 100%, he's stiff, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> our, our product will get you stiffer than Mickey Conlon, super stiff. And all the 50 year old dons with ED, yeah, erectile dysfunction are going to think, damn, that product, look at that product working. Yeah, look how stiff, look how stiff Mickey Conlon was. I need some of that, hundred percent. Yeah, all the women, all the all, all the women across the world are gonna be glad to use the product endorsed by Mickey Conlon. Yeah, as stiff as Mickey, they're gonna say. That's, that's, I'm hearing the slogan they're thinking about going with is as stiff as Mickey, hundred percent. Anyway, listen. On a serious note, well, it's all serious. Again, like I said, hundred percent. Cialis and Viagra in a massive bidding war. So we have to give. I am happy for Mickey because. There's a, what's the, what's the old saying, a silver lining, yeah, in everything bad, there's a silver lining, and in this silver lining, despite being stiff as you like last night, Mickey Conlon now is on a big come up, yeah, because Cialis and Viagra, they're billion dollar industries, I'm hearing he's going to get a big bag for this, 100%, a big ass bag, no doubt about that, big promotional contract coming in for Mickey Conlon right now from Cialis. I believe Cialis are going to be the winning bidders as well. That's what I'm hearing. Anyway, let's go back to this point. The point is, people, I respect Mickey Conlon, yeah? He come out even after having his wood, wood even after having his wig stiffened up nicely for him. He want the smoke. He want the, he want to get back. Many other people, I'm trying to think of some examples. Well, a great example would be, look at, Billy Ho Saunders, even though Billy Ho isn't in the runnings to get some get back, look at him, Billy Ho, Billy, Billy Joe Santa, yeah, Billy Joe Santa, he ain't in no shape to do anything, Mickey Conlon, he wanted to get back, and I really, I know it's different, I know he lost, but in comparison to Josh Taylor, Josh Taylor, I mean, where are he at, oops, yeah, that's why, yeah, it's, I guess, if Mickey Conlon, it would have been interesting to see how Mickey Conlon reacted if he'd have won, because I guess it's easy to want to get back when you've blatantly lost. But either way, Mickey Conlon potentially could have found a way to try and weasel his way out. But then again, I guess really the the reaction we need to see is from Lee Wood. 
is Lee Wood going to try and act bougie now? Oh, I've got the belt and I'm going to... Because let's be real now. Ben Davison and Lee put you two, yeah? <laughs> and no doubt about that. Ben Davison and Lee put Mickey to Wood, yeah? <laughs> no doubt. They got lucky. On that. Let's be, I ain't going to lie to you. They got lucky. Ben Davis and all in the video talking about, yeah, we did this, we planned for this. You didn't plan for nothing. You you planned to get beat. <laughs> based on that performance and based on your shoddy training, you got planned to get beat and you got lucky. Your fighter, Lee, put Mickey to wood. Found a, found a shot that Josh Taylor couldn't find. That doesn't make your bad training. That's what I don't understand. Someone made a great point in the comment section again and said, listen, you don't judge, you don't, as a trainer... You don't, you don't get gassed off of results. You get gassed off of performances, and that's twice now. Twice Ben Davison has got a result, i.e., the Josh Taylor robbery, and the Lee put Mickey to Wood occasion. Both of which really were pure luck. Josh Taylor getting the scorecards, pure luck. The fight, finding the punch in the twelfth round. Yes, I'm not taking nothing away from Wood, but. Let's call it a spade, a spade here. You got lucky. And I think that even looking at the judges' scorecards, I mean, they was way too close in my opinion. Mickey Collin was lighting up Lee put Mickey to wood all night. Yeah? Mr. Lee put put Mickey to wood was getting lit up all night. Mickey Mickey Conlon couldn't couldn't miss. Yeah? Mickey Wood Conlon couldn't miss. He was licking that guy off with the back back hook. Yeah? That left hook was slapping off his face the whole night. Put him down in the first round. Yes, he was backing up, and that's not my favourite thing, but to his credit, unlike what we saw from Jack Casserole, yeah, Jack Casserole, he wasn't licking like that. I'm sorry, he weren't. Mickey Conlon was, was touching the guy all over, in my opinion, and them scorecards were way too close. I think it was one round in the end. There's no way that was a one round fight, in my opinion. No way. Mickey was too active for that. Anyway, the bottom line is, man, it's going to be interesting to see Lee put Mickey to Wood's reaction, because if I know anything, yeah, even though there's nowhere, where's Lee going to go from here, nowhere to go from here, the rematch is where to go, but then again, I'd say the same for Josh Taylor, where's Josh Taylor going to go, oops, <laughs> I mean, let's be real now, there was a time I'd have sat here and told you that, oh, Josh Taylor, he's going to go straight up to 147 and get, get busy in there, and I, I mean, back when he was with Shane McGuigan, there was an argument that Josh Taylor could have Got his wick out and, you know what I mean, had a go, you know what I mean? It was an argument, Josh Taylor, or Josh Taylor and his wick potentially could have got busy at 147. But now, yeah, now, you got your head boxed off by Jack Casserole, a.k.a. Josh Taylor was that bad. He made Jack Casserole look like Floyd Mayweather. Facts, yeah? You was that bad, you turned Jack Casserole into a Mayweather 2.0. Give you a proper... Fully, fully fledged boxing lesson, and you think you can? You think there's something sweet for you on 147? I'm telling you now, Josh Taylor gets knocked out cold at 147 under Ben Davidson, and I'm not being funny. There's no telling, yeah, that Josh Taylor's career may be done full stop. Even if Josh Taylor went back to Shane McGuigan, I'm not going to say it's going to make the difference. I'm, who knows at this point? The odds are he finished full stop now. Because he's too old and he's got too sloppy. Yeah? Too old, too sloppy. Too He looks shot. Then again, look at Tyson Fury. I don't mean, but listen. Ben Davison has a habit of making fighters look shot to bits. Look at Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury was in there with... Was it Wallin? Look shot to bits. Leaves Ben Davison and in six weeks he's given Deontay Wilder a good and proper Me Too session. Yeah, violated him. Me too. him all the way up. Touched him all over. Touched him. Listen, Tyson Fury touched Wilder in places he didn't want to be touched. Facts. Meets a Me Too case. Yeah, you can look it up yourself. Yeah. Fury versus Wilder. February 2020. is a, is a well-known. It's well-known in, in legal case law. Yeah. No doubt. Fury versus Wilder. 2020 is well-known legal case law. Yeah, it's a Me Too. It's a it's a Me Too landslide case. One of the first cases to to be won in court. Yeah, Fury versus Wilder, 2020. You have a look up yourself. In fact, simple as that. He got violated, no doubt about that. The judge found 
The judge in Fury vs. Wilder 2020, the judge found there was pure, what would you call it? There was pure violation. No doubt touched. Yeah, anyway, there was aggravated violation. But listen, Ben Davison, you are trash as a trainer. And if you want to have any dignity left, we've just seen what happened with Josh Taylor. As in, he not only did he get his ass whooped, he's now running off to get his ass whooped some more at 147. But the point is, the reason it's relevant to this Mickey Wood Conlon and Lee put you to Wood, or well, sorry, Lee put Mickey to Wood, is because they're from the same camp, which tells me they're probably going to have the same advice. As in, Ben Davison thinks he's smart. Ben Davison is all about the result. It's not about the, the bottom line. Because if he was, no, don't get me wrong, I think Ben Davison tries his best, but his best ain't good enough. His best gets you knocked out. His best takes powerful, powerful fighters and turns them into meat slabs. Facts. Josh Taylor was a powerful, powerful fighter when he was with Shane McGuigan. Now, he's a big piece of meat who gets punched up by knockoff Mayweather's. Knockoff British Mayweather's. <laughs> Let's be real now. Jack Casserole looked like a cheap British version of Mayweather. But yet, he still gave, he still treated Josh Taylor like a piece of meat, a piece of unanimated meat, boxed him all up, knocked him down for the first time in his career, wow, yeah, that's how bad Ben Davison is, and rather than saying, you know what, even though I'm trying my best as a trainer, I categorically suck, he thinks, oh wow, if I can nick a win, trust me, if Ben Davison could nick wins every day of his career, he'd take it. And that's what, that's what we're in here. Don't be surprised, people, if Ben Davison advises Lee Wood the same way he advised Josh Taylor to run off somewhere. Run off into some other fight. I think there's some talking of him fan, of Lee Wood fighting Santa someone. Some Santa guy. Some I think it's Mexican or one of them ones. Some South American cat called Santa. Yeah, Leo Santa Cruz. Someone, I don't know, one of them ones. I don't, really listen, I don't really watch these small fry cats, truth be known. Yeah? But still, that's the murmurings now. And if that's the case, if Lee Wood ducks... Mickey Conlon, it'll be a bad look. It'll be another indictment on the sport, truth be known. What happened to people having shame? Josh Taylor, I was one of Josh Taylor's few supporters. And I said, Josh Taylor's Scottish spirit wouldn't allow him to get whooped like that and run off. Next thing we know, no spirit have an arse. Yeah, no William Wallace, he ran off. It's a shame. And that's why I've abandoned Josh, because I, I gave him way too much respect. I thought, you know what, he, he, you know what I mean, he's scary ass. He running off to get whooped some more. Yeah. Josh Taylor realised. Wait there. I'm shot to bits. I bet I'm better off going to 147. And cashing out in the USA market. Because he knows. Guess what. If he gets beat by the knockoff. The knockoff British mate. Whatever, he ain't got no hope. There's no coins in the Jack Casserole fight. Yeah. There's no coins in the Jack May with a Casserole fight. So instead. Josh Taylor is going to cash his wig out. Against a big USA cat. Bottom line. And that's what I'm hearing Lee Wood gonna be doing right now, trying to cash out with some next Santa, with some next Santa guy, yeah, some next Don called Santa something. That's what I'm hearing now, and it's a shame because Mickey Conlon he wants you bad and he deserves it, even though he don't, listen. There's no doubt about it. He was stiff as a rock, yeah. If this was, a, if it meant, if people being as stiff as a rock meant that you didn't need rematches, then fair enough. Lee Wood has earned his right. Not to rematch, but that's not the case in my opinion. Yeah, you need, you must rematch now. Must do. I mean, your career, your career ain't going nowhere else. Same with Josh Taylor, Josh Taylor, and Lee Wood. Your careers are going nowhere where they stand. You must go back and and do the job properly if you believe you if or if you have, if you want to have any serious chance in this sport. I believe. Because, like I said, what chance has Josh Taylor got? Going forward, leaving that how he's left it. He hasn't. He needs to go in there and stop Jack Casserole. That's in my opinion. That's what I'll be thinking. If I was training Josh Taylor, I'd say, listen, Josh Taylor, if we're going to have any hope at any other, at doing anything else ever in the sport, we best go and knock jo Jack Casserole out. If not, what else are we doing here? Yeah? Same as Lee Wood. What? Let's be real now. He was outboxed well and truly. Mickey Conlon didn't even use a jab. He was just licking off the backhand. And every single... It, genuinely, I hate to keep ma making the parallel, but every shot, every time Jack Casserole threw the backhand, threw the left hand, every time Jack Casserole threw the straight left hand, it popped. Josh Taylor square in the face. Guess what? Every time Lee Wood, every time Mickey Conlon 
through the left hand, through the right, left hook, sorry, it popped. Your man's leeward right in their head, every time. And they're both trained by the same trainer. It's like, what, what are you doing here? And we know Josh Taylor wasn't getting hit like that before under other trainers. So clearly Ben Davison, I don't know what he'd be doing, but I'll tell you what he ain't doing. He ain't training his fighters how to spot the big back end coming. They, they, all the, you know what I'm saying? It feels to me as if the sport, it seems to me as if from Ben Davison's point of view, the sport of boxing is about being clobbered. By the backhand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. If this if the sport of boxing, if you could win points by eating as many backhands as possible, maybe that's what it is. Maybe Ben Davison, because he's been criticized for having defensive fighters, maybe he's thought, well, you know what? Maybe we can win some points if we add some our our Toro Gatti to our game. Yeah, maybe if we can show the judges that we can eat backhand the whole night through and still keep marching forward, maybe that's going to convince the YB that my style doesn't suck. Guess what, Ben? Your style's even worse. When I was watching Josh Taylor versus Casserole, I was begging for your scary style to come back. I was screaming at the TV saying, Ben, do what you do best. Tell Josh Taylor to start running like he did against the other guy, against um, the Mexican Don he just fought in the US for Undisputed. Start running. I begged him. Please, Ben, tell Josh Taylor to start running around the place again. Do some more of that. Instead, he kept plowing forward and getting clobbered. Yeah? Anyway, listen. I'm glad Mickey's alright. I'm glad he a true fighting man. He could easily... Mickey Collin could easily say, you know what? I've been got here. Yeah? You know what? I'm going to just take my big... T take my big... Take the big bag from Cialis or Viagra. Yeah. Take my big advertisement sponsorship bag from Viagra or Cialis and ride off into the sunset. Yeah. Easily. Mickey Conlon could say, you know what, I'm going to take this multi-year deal with Cialis and or Viagra. And the Cialis, t take this seven-figure deal with the big erectile dysfunction companies. Yeah. As hard as Mickey Conlon. And just ride off into the sunset. He's saying no. Yeah. Mickey, Con Mickey Collins said no. I'm going. Yes. I'm, don't get me wrong. I'm going to take the bag. Yeah. I'm going to take that big. That big. Erectile dysfunction. As stiff as Mickey Conlon bag. However. You best believe. I want your bad Lee Wood. Yeah. And Lee Wood. I'm hearing. Lee Wood twitching right now. Lee Wood. Has been on the phone to Ben Davidson. And Ben Davidson telling him. Listen. Let's go in. Let's try and go in another direction. Yeah. Because Ben Davison knows his time in the sport is is limited now. Ben Davison is advising his fighters just to cash out. That's what he told Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor, don't go to don't go back in there with casserole. Don't go in there with the knockoff English Mayweather, because we're gonna get whooped again for some for less coin. We must sell our backside for more coin in the USA, and that's what he's telling Lee Wood as well. Lee, don't go in there with Mickey Conlon. Yeah, let's go and fight some next dude from Mexico called Santa. And get that big bag. It's a sad, it's a sad state, but it sums up. Ben, at this point in time, Ben Davison understands he's got his career's got nowhere to go. He must cash out because no. Who, let's be real now. After all these performances, who is going to Ben Davison? No one is going to Ben Davison unless they've literally unless El Trapahan, yeah, unless MTK. Unless Kinahan has come, literally, I'm saying, unless Europe, unless Europe's number one trap star puts the stick to someone's head, ain't no one signing with Ben Davison. There's no doubt about that, hundred percent. Mickey, Mickey Conlon, a true fighting man, he want to smoke. Yeah, he want to redeem himself.